Hello everyone, I want to welcome you to our new channel, Tai Chi Plus Art. Uh, my name is Jordan Diamond. Uh, I've been a Tai Chi and Qigong practitioner for uh, around 12 years, a little more than 12 years. I've also been a uh, photographer for almost 20 years. And so this channel is kind of a new fusion of blending these things together. So the art and energy work and Qigong and really to create something beautiful to share with the world. For all my life, I've been really, uh, I want to say, entranced by uh, the beauty that comes from nature and also by creating art itself. So uh, light and colors and forms uh, and the way that this all can touch, touch us, human spirit. So, honestly, Tai Chi is very similar in the sense that it's all about the forms and the movements and the flowing. And so, art and Tai Chi is such a natural crossover. Uh, so, through this, this new creation, I'm really looking to uh, elevate the, the art that can spring out from energy and Tai Chi in this practice. So, I'm really happy to be here with you and share this with you. So in today's video, we're going to focus on lower body practice. So any of you who are already Tai Chi or Qigong practitioners, I'm sure you know how important it is to connect with your lower body. That's the foundation of everything. And when lower body is stable, upper body becomes very light. Now, most of us, we have too much energy living in our head. We think too much and worry too much. And when too much energy is up here, it makes your shoulders very tight your chest very tight and just generally you lose your vitality so the more we can bring the energy all the way down into your feet the more that your energy opens up you feel more light more free more open so that's what we're going to practice today okay so we're going to learn two different postures today the first posture is called archer stance in this posture your feet are parallel with each other, but slightly apart from each other. So they're not on the exact same line. In this posture, your back leg is straight and your front knee is slightly bent. This makes a very strong foundation to connect with the earth. The second posture is called horse riding stance. In this posture, your feet are a little wider than your shoulders hips slightly dropped, tailbone tucked in. Your legs make a very strong foundation to support your lower body and connect you to the earth. Let's do a quick practice together so you can feel the effect of these postures. Bring your feet shoulder width apart, drop your hips and begin to gently bounce your body we're going to start to move all the energy downwards into your lower body. So as you bounce, feel the bottom of your feet. You can shake out your fingertips and your wrists and just let your shoulders relax. You can also breathe out from your chest to let go of anything you're holding in your chest. Keep gently bouncing. Feel your feet feet, bottom of the feet. As energy starts to gather there, you'll start to feel warmth and very settled inside. Keep bouncing, breathe out. Feel the bottom of your feet. Energy is starting to move down, bottom of the feet. Just a little bit longer, keep going. You can notice all the different feelings in your body waking up. Feet, feet, bottom of your feet. Upper body becoming lighter, lower body becoming more solid and more stable. Breathe out any remaining heaviness from your chest. Feet, feet, bottom of the feet. It's 
slowly stop. Let all the energy settle into your feet, into your lower body. Now that you feel the connection, let's move into the first posture, archer stance. Turn your feet and bring your energy down into the earth. You can feel very solid and stable and turn to the other side. Feel the earth through your feet. Now let's move into horse riding stance. Turn to the front, dropping your hips, tuck in your tailbone, feel your feet. Now let's do it one more time. Turn to the side, archer stance. Feel the bottom of your feet. Slowly turn to the other side. Slowly turn to the front, dropping your hips, tuck in your tailbone. Now relax your body and gently shake out your fingers and toes. So if you followed along with me with that short training we just did, you may feel a little bit calmer, more grounded, and just more present in your body. So that kind of practice is just so simple, but so important to make a new habit of existing in your legs. It's a very new concept, right? existing in your legs. Your awareness is in your legs and then your life becomes very, very different. So I hope you enjoyed our first episode of Tai Chi Plus Art. Uh, as we go through each one of these, I'm going to gradually share with you more and more and more Tai Chi practices. So this is, I think, a very gentle way you can come in and start to learn about the process, how you can go on that journey.